right? So this is the force of the friction times pi r. Pi times the radius, and that's equal to, that's it. That's all the, those are all the forces. The work of gravity, friction, friction, friction. And then that's equal to half times uh, two. Question? Question? No? Oh. Question? Which one here? Okay, let's see here. Did I miss one thing? Point three times m times g times cosine theta. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot the. Let me see here. Uh, I forgot the distance here. Times the distance, which is what? Well, actually, this the distance we don't know. The distance is this distance here. Uh, the, we could express the distance in terms of the height h, right? We could say uh, sine of 40 is uh, h over d, and uh, d equals uh, h over sine of 40. Uh, so that's basically it, h over sine of 40. So I do need to put here h divided by sine of 40. So uh, mgh, this is mu k mg cos theta times the distance minus the friction along the flat road is uh, 0.2 times m times g times the distance of the flat road, which I need to also give you, okay? Right here, from here to where the circle starts to here. So let's say that's uh, two meters. Okay. So point two two. So point two times two times nine point eight. This is mg. This is mu k. And then the distance is. I said. Two meters, okay, so the distance is two meters. Okay, so this is mu k, this is m, this is g, this is the distance. So now minus 15 times the circum half the circumference, pi times 0.5 equals half mv squared. V final squared. Now what is V final squared? Oh, I need to give you that too. Oh man. Still missing info. No, I don't need to give you that. I have, you have enough info. Huh? No. You're looking for what is the minimum height. You're looking for h. So you can't have another unknown. What is the minimum height so that the block makes it around the circle safely without falling? Okay, so what is the v at the top? Zero, huh? If the V is zero at the top, does it fall? Okay, you don't want it zero then. Why, why would you say zero if it's going to fall? You don't want it to fall. So what is the minimum velocity you need at the top of the circle on a revolution type ride so that uh, the car doesn't fall or the block doesn't fall? So go back to your chapter six notes. We derived that in chapter six. Do you see how easily you forget past information? Because we just learned it, we put it past it, and that's it. We don't really make it our own, you know? So what is the, look back at the notes, what is the minimum velocity that you need on a revolution type ride so that you now, square root of RG, you sure? Others, you got that? We also need that. You're right. I need to add that. Let's, you know what, let's write this, all of this down. Yeah, he's a good, he had a good point, you see. We need the work of gravity. Oh no, I did have it written down here. Work of gravity plus work of friction plus work of friction. He has a good point. 
we're forgetting one thing. As it goes up the circle, is gravity doing work? Yeah, it's doing negative work, right, along this one. Does gravity care about the distance or just the vertical height? Just the vertical height. So I need to add here work of gravity along half circle. So work of gravity along the incline, friction along the incline, friction along the flat, work of gravity up the circle, work of friction up the circle equals to the final kinetic energy. So uh, that means I need to add here minus uh, what's the work of gravity along half the circle? 2 times 9.8 mgh, right? M G H, and now what's the height that the block rises? It's uh, twice the radius, right? M G times two R. So two times nine point eight times one, since the radius is half. Okay, it's equal to half M V final squared, and then V final needs to be what? V min, which is square root of Rg, the minimum rate, uh, velocity that something needs to have at the top of a revolution type ride is square root of Rg. So the R you already know is a half, G is 9.8. So you put this one here, the mass is uh, 2, the square root of Rg squared. Well, this thing cancels this thing, and this becomes Rg. And then R is a half. G is 9.8. So you've got everything now. The only thing you need is H. Okay, so now, here, to solve for H, let's do this. Uh, bring the H here, factor it out. You have 19.6 minus 0.6 times 9.8 divided by cosine over sine is a tangent on the bottom. Divided by a tangent, and then you set it equal to, this is ha half times 9.8 is 4.9. Take this to the other side, plus point, uh, this is uh, uh, 4, 8, point 8 times 9.8. And then you're adding this thing to this side. So uh, 0 0.8 times 4.8, and then you're adding this thing to that side. That's 7.5 times pi. And then you're adding this thing to that side, and then you're, uh, that's 19.6. Essentially, what's happening is this. The required height that you need needs to be high enough to account for the fact that gravity, uh, this thing here, uh, friction, this is, this is the fr work done by friction, right? So the height that you need needs to account for the fact that friction is going to do negative work. So this needs to go over there. So the work done by friction is going to be 4.9 joules. The work done by friction along the circle is going to be 0.8 times 9.8 joules. The work done by gravity, uh, let's see here. The work done by gravity is going to be 19.6 joules. This is the work done by gravity. This is, oh, hold on, sorry. This is the work done by friction along the flat. This is the work done by friction along the circle. Uh, along the circle. This is the work done by uh, gravity. Okay, so in order for your height to be if enough, it needs to be sufficient to account for the work done by friction, plus the work done by friction along the circle, plus the work done by gravity, plus, what's this stand for? This is the kinetic energy that you want it to have at the end when it ends up at the top of the revolution ride. So this is the kinetic energy that you want it to have. That's the whole idea of what's going on. And then this thing accounts for the fact that gravity is doing work and friction is doing negative work. Okay? So put all this in your calculator, so for H. That's the minimum height you need.